Hi, my name's Ryan, Hiring Guru, and today I'm going to give you a great tip for how to go about improving your process when you feel completely and utterly overwhelmed with all the options and all the opportunities that are out there. Stick around and I'll give you my number one tip for the most important thing you can do today to get results tomorrow. So I go around the country conducting user groups for our company. Basically, we get 30 to 50 of our users together, and I basically just go off for four hours about hiring and, and helping them improve and giving them ideas about how to improve their hiring process. So last week when I was there, one of my users at the end threw her hands up in the air and said, look, I'll be honest, these are great ideas, but I honestly don't know where I'm going to find the time to do any of them. We already have too much work on our plate and our team is too small and overwhelmed already. It got me thinking about how I could come up with some better frameworks for helping my users and, and you watching these videos to actually implement some of the things we talk about. Because I think a lot of times we make these into bigger deals than they are. We make these projects into giant initiatives when they really don't need to be. The fact of the matter is one of the biggest differences between HR professionals and marketing professionals like me is marketing people tend to understand that small changes make a big impact. Even just little changes like the color of a button or the word that's on the button or the heading on a web page can make a huge impact on the results, especially when there's a lot of frequency of use. But a lot of times HR wants to do these big, huge initiatives. And when you do that, it overwhelms the entire system and you end up not getting any results. More importantly, while you're going through that huge initiative, you don't get any of the benefits of any of the changes. And so I spent some time and, and looked at some of the things that I've, I've gone through in the past, books I've read, uh, mentors that have helped me, and went back to an important framework. Now, the first off is you need to understand that small things make a huge impact, especially small things that are done frequently. Number two, execution. We spend a lot of time thinking that execution is about all the things that we need to do. But in fact, there's a great quote from a book I read that said, execution is more about what you choose not to do than what you choose to do. More importantly, if you want to really get the benefit, it's not just choosing what to do and what not to do, it's about choosing the order or the priority that you do them in. Getting something done so that you can start to receive the benefits from it while you do the next task is super, super important. In software, we call that agile. It's about getting things shipped, getting them out into the marketplace sooner and faster so that we can start to see the use and get the benefit from it. So, I went back to what one of my mentors gave me as a framework, which I'm sure he got from his mentor, and it's called ICE. It's a framework for deciding what is the one thing I should do. In fact, that's one of the books I read. It said I should choose one thing, and it's not just any one thing. It's the one thing that will make everything else easier or unnecessary. That's really my goal of prioritization. As of today, what is my one thing that I could do that will make everything else easier or unnecessary, that will have 1% increase in growth, not a million percent. I'm not swinging for the fences. I'm just trying to get on base, one thing. So what we need to do is we need to take all of our ideas, all of the options, all of the great ideas of things that we could change, and we need to rank them and prioritize them based on three key elements. Number one, what is the impact they will have? Now, just be careful when you're judging impact that you're not just judging how big of an impact it makes, but also how frequent it would make that impact. It's possible that something that makes a small impact but happens all the time, such as improving a job ad, will actually have a bigger impact than something that makes a huge impact, even though it doesn't happen as often, such as improving an interview. So look at the impact. Give it a, a score between one and five. Number two, judge your confidence. How confident are you that you can actually accomplish it? That it will actually make that impact? How confident are you that you know how to do it and can get it done? I think sometimes we take on things that are too big for us to chew. We really aren't confident in our ability to get them done. And the third one is ease, because you don't want to choose something that will make a huge impact, but will take you a year. You want to balance that with ease. So again, you're going to judge impact, confidence, and ease. Give them five points on each one of them and add it up. What this will force you to do is pick a priority that will make the biggest impact with the least amount of work. We call this biggest bang for the buck. For us growth hackers, this is exactly what we're looking for. In fact, for me, I'm looking for it in my life all the time. How can I get the biggest gain with the least amount of effort? And that's where I'm going to focus my time and attention. Now, what is that one thing that I would focus on if I was you? If I was trying to improve my hiring process, I would focus on my job ad. 
I would go and remove those job descriptions and I would write an ad that would actually engage job seekers. And don't rewrite all your ads, just pick one of them. Just pick your job where you can have the biggest impact, that's used the most frequently, and where you actually can get it done as quickly as possible and rewrite the ad. Specifically what you're trying to do, make it engaging to the job seeker. And that's my offer. Uh, we've got a book that will guide you through step-by-step -step how to write a better job ad. It's called How to Write a Killer Job Ad. Imagine that, great title. It is available for download and it's free. So look for the link in the email on the post that you're looking at or however you got access to this video, click on it, download it, and use it as your one thing that will make an impact, that will be easy to do, and that you can be confident will actually produce the result you want. I hope that you find this video helpful. Otherwise, until next time, good luck hiring.